welcome to Case Mom. Today I have a few different things that I need to do. Um, I'm not sure how this video is going to turn out, but I'll try to vlog it anyway. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to be updating our budget sheet. I do this once a week because you should always be on top of your finances. You have to make sure that your finances are always in order, especially when you have a family. And if you guys are interested in finding out how I do my budget at home, I have a couple of videos of it and I'm going to leave the links for those videos in the cards somewhere here in this video because uh, there's two it, it's like a two-part video i'm actually here on the computer and i do my budget on excel so it makes everything easier so let me just get this done and then i'll get back to you later sorry about the noise also because i have the washing machine going as well so yeah we're trying to multitask <music> Okay guys, so I just finished doing my budget. Right now, I am sorting these out. These are my books. In case you guys don't know, I am a self-published author on Amazon. I create mostly children's books like these ones right here. Like this one is about shapes. As you can see. Shapes. And this one right here is about the alphabet. So they're very simple books, which I think kids love simple books. They don't like anything that's too elaborate. I think, especially if they're really young, they tend to go for the simpler books. So that's why I created these. If you guys are interested and looking for books or presents, books are great. I have an Amazon author page and I will leave the link for that in the description box below. So this one, I'm actually sending these to my friend in the US because I just found out that her child really liked one of my other books, which is the Count With Me at the Beach. So I decided to send her more books right now i'm just preparing this i'm looking for um i'm going through my box here of packaging stuff and art stuff so that i can send this out maybe i should just show you this guys i also have been making stickers so if you can see that these are actually handmade what i did illustrate them like i drew them myself on the ipad and then i printed them out but i did cut them like i did the kiss cut on them by hand so these are handmade so i have unicorn cake i've got days of the week this one is like a rainbow cake i also have halloween stickers currently i'm only selling this in the uk so if you're in the uk i am going to leave the links for this you can get this on ebay for now well i actually still have a few that i need to cut this is not actually what i'm looking for what i am looking for are envelopes so which one is gonna fit i think this will fit and i'll do on it okay so i've got that and Let's go make a card. Hi everyone. It's the next day. <laughs> I know I said yesterday that I was going to make a card with you guys that I would include in the books that I was going to send to my friend in the US, but I didn't get a chance to. Basically what happened was we had to go out sooner than I expected. And so I just had to send the books and just write a note with the books so I didn't get to make the card but I do have another card that I need to make let's try and make one now Oh. 
Okay guys, so here it is. Finished my drawing. So that's what it looks like. So all I have to do now is export this and then print it and then bling it with probably some glitters to give a little bit of depth to it later on. Okay, so here is our illustration. So I'm just going to export this. I'm going to do JPEG just because it's easier to do it that way. Okay, and then I'm going to transfer that file into the computer so we can print it out. Okay, now I have it on the computer. Normally, I would just use this um, photo viewer on Windows. And then I go print. And then you can choose the size of paper over here. But the problem with this is when I choose the size of paper, it actually intends to print it in full when I choose A5 and like if I have say an A4 okay. it'll give me different it's choices of what size I could print it as whereas when I do A5 it only gives me one option which is what I don't want because what I want to do is I want to print it on an A5 size card paper but I want it only on half of the page as a small uh, greeting card would be like. So instead of using this one, I am going to open this photo in paint. Okay, so now I'm just in the Windows Explorer where my file is located. So I'm just gonna click right and open with paint. There it is. It's quite big. Let me zoom out just so you can see. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to print page set up right now it's set to a4 but i want an a5 which is half of an a4 because that's the size of cards that i have here so select that and then i make sure that i'm on landscape see the difference because if i'm on portrait what paint is gonna do is it's gonna print my photo occupying the entire page. I don't want the picture to occupy the entire page. I want an A5 size card that's folded in the middle, so this is more what I want. Now I'm gonna go print preview. Okay, so as you can see, it looks like it's gonna print on the left hand side. Obviously, if you imagine a greeting card, you want your photo or your print to be on the right hand side because you want your card to open like a book if you're going to fold it right so if my photo is going to be on this side then it's going to be like a greeting card that's opening the wrong way around so what i would do to solve this issue is just to go onto my picture and rotate it 180 degrees so it's upside down and then if we go to preview again, because it's upside down, if you turn it around, if you turn the page around, then your picture will now be showing on the right hand side of the page. And then if you fold it, then it's going to look like, you know, a, like a book, like how you open a book. Okay, so I have the card here. This is something that you can get in the shops, you know, in the arts and craft shops, you know, just a blank card where you can draw your own pictures or in my case, I'm printing my own illustrations on the card. So it's already folded and it's already, you know, in the right size. So this is the card that I want. So I want the image to be printed here. You can open it like a book, you know, like how greeting cards normally are. So because my printer prints on the opposite side of the paper, when you put it on the tray, it prints on the opposite side. So just make sure that you put your paper or your card the right way. So in this case, I'm putting it in this way. So I just have to make sure that I choose the right paper. I'm going to choose matte photo paper because it's a thicker card, but it's matte. As you 
can see it printed the right way. Okay, so here is the final product that is our happy anniversary card. It's a handmade happy anniversary card. As you can see, I used glitter pens to bling the happy anniversary bit up here and also the, the glass to also correct that color. Okay, hey. Um, problem that we had because um, I didn't have any more ink in my printer apparently. And then also some glitter pens as well for the hearts, the big hearts. I had that really faint golden heart behind the glasses, but again, it didn't really show up because my printer is really running out of ink. So what I did here is I used glitter glue to give that effect and the glitter glue I used is this one. So I used the gold glitter glue, this one right here. And then I used the hair dryer to try it out and that's it. That is our card done. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you again next time. Bye! Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. And if you like this one, give it a thumbs up and share.